Hello there. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this specific training, we're going to continue setting up and configuring the phone burner app in Salesforce. And more specifically, I want to talk to you about custom objects. You see, so far in this training, we've been talking about standard objects or objects that just come as part of the Salesforce environment, you know, leads, contacts, things like that. But some of you may have created your own custom objects. And as an example, I've created a custom object on my account called properties. This properties object allows me to keep track of specific properties. For example, homes or businesses, whatever it might be, right? So I'm creating these records on the properties object. And because of this, I may actually want to be able to initiate a phone burner dial session from the properties object. That way I can use all of the fields on the properties object to identify the specific records that I want to call. And of course, launch that dial session directly from this object. So we're going to click on the nine dots in the upper left hand corner, and we're going to do a search for phone burner. And we want to grab the phone burner lightning app. In this app, you should see two options, create configuration and update configuration. If you're not seeing those, then make sure you edit the app and add those navigation items to this app. I'm not going to go into that right now. Let's go ahead and close that. And we're going to click on create configuration. So from here, you need to identify the exact object that you want to add the option to begin a phone burner dial session to. So again, that was our properties object that I created. So property. And then over to the right, you're going to see field API name. In this particular case, I actually have two options in the drop down menu. I have contact and property underscore C. So what exactly are we deciding here? We're deciding what record should be called when we initiate a phone burner dial session from this object. So if I choose property, then we're going to end up creating a button that will allow us to start a dial session and call the property records themselves which would mean that we'd have to actually have a custom field on the property object for the phone number. If we were to choose the contact option in this particular case, what I'm doing is I'm using the property object to identify who I want to call, but I actually want to call the contact records related to the properties. And in some cases you might want to have both options. So I'm going to go ahead and choose contact here. I'm going to add a row. Find my property object again. And in this one, I'm going to choose property under underscore C. So I'm going to create options for both. Let's go ahead and create the mapping. Perfect. We've now created the configuration. If I click on update configuration, we'll actually see both of those listed here where I could remove them if I wanted to, or I can update them and change them if I made a mistake. And that's how easy it is to create a configuration on a custom object within Salesforce using the tools that Phoneburner has created for you. I hope this helps you and your team start getting more done in less time using the power of Phoneburner. Thanks again and happy dialing.